Well, hello everyone, it is Luke from Larry's Orchids here with another growing guide. We are getting tropical today, so if you haven't seen any of our other tropical growing guides, make sure to check those out as well. But today we're talking about pineapples. So if you are enjoying a nice pineapple right now and you said, I wish I could grow one of these, now it's possible. It is totally doable, it's very simple. So hopefully you'll set back, enjoy, and hopefully you'll learn how to grow a pineapple properly so that you can have one to enjoy in about two years time. So pineapples are a member of the bromeliad family. They're going to shoot a flower stalk out of the very top of the plant. And there only will be one flower stalk and one pineapple. So you have to make sure that you do everything right. So that's gonna be crucial. Another thing is that you need to realize that they're not picky at all. They just like a very well-draining potting soil. They like a lot of sun. They like a lot of warmth. They like a lot of water. So a lot like we talked about with the bananas, the a lot of rule. You want to give them plenty of fertilizer. You want to give them plenty of water. Because of the fact that they're tropical, they can handle it. But make sure that they're in a well-draining potting soil. Something that's going to have some sphagnum peat moss that's going to hold on to that, that moisture. But also some sand and stuff that will allow it to freely drain through so that there's not a whole lot of standing water. Because you will notice that the roots will begin to rot if you have them in, in standing water for a sustained period of time. Also with fertilizer, they're not too picky. Make sure you just give them just about any fertilizer. Make sure you fertilize frequently because they are a foliage plant to begin with and the foliage requires lots of nitrogen and so they're gonna go that, through that pretty quickly. Now when it comes to warmth, you wanna give them a warm window. South facing as we always talk about or on a patio is going to do excellent for you. Don't put them next to a hot air vent because like a lot of other tropicals, they don't like dry air. They like that nice humid air. Now if it's not too humid, that's fine. They can adapt. They're very adaptable to their conditions, but they don't like that dry air. That's the biggest thing that we stress. They don't like that at all. So make sure that you give them just a pretty basic house temperature with a basic house humidity. They're going to do fine for you, but um, their optimal is going to be out on your patio with about 70% humidity and full sun, it's gonna do great for you and it could even fruit. Now, the thing we like to talk about is getting your pineapples to fruit. We hear so often that people can't get their pineapples to fruit and uh, they begin to worry that maybe their pineapple will never fruit. Now, what you need to realize is that once you put your pineapple into a larger pot, this one will be needing a repotting, it's going to do fine. They do not need all that much space. So if you think your plant is needing a, a repotting, don't worry about it. They'll do fine in a one gallon pot, just fine, and they'll fruit in that one gallon pot as well. So after about one year of receiving your, your pineapple, you'll be receiving something along the lines of this. You're going to wanna grow it about a year. Now, if you have a smaller plant, you can get a smaller plant from Larry's Orchids as well. That'll be about a year as well. So just a year in general. So after about a year, you're going to want to start thinking about getting your pineapple to fruit. Now it can last longer, that's fine, it won't hurt. It's just obviously you want a pineapple and that's why you're growing it. So the one thing that we like to do at the office is after a year, we like to induce them to flower using a method called the apple peel trick. And all you have to do is take one or two apples, peel them and stick the apple peels right around the base of the plant and near some of the leaves. And if you've ever heard of the expression, one bad apple spoils the bunch, that's true because of the fact that apple peels release ethylene gas. And ethylene gas is something that will induce the pineapple to flower. And you should see if you keep a, a good supply of apple peel around the base, let it just sit there, that apple peel will release its ethylene gas. And in about six months time, you're going to see a flower stalk coming out of the center there. And that's exciting and it's super simple. So that's it, there's your growing guide on pineapples. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. And if you are thinking about purchasing a pineapple, make sure you check the link in the description box below to larrysorchids.com. It's going to direct you to the place where you can purchase your pineapples and also you can adventure around and see the other cool things we have. But it is one of the easier plants we have to grow, so we'd encourage you to try it out. And until next time, this is Luke from Larry's Orchids, thanking you for making us the number one stop shop for all your orchid and tropical needs. Take care, everyone.